everyone and welcome back to wicked art it's wicked here and today or my uh thursday time lapse i'm just gonna kind of show you guys my uh graphic novel i'm working on just a little time lapse of it so what i'm doing is i'm, I'm just going through like some of the old pages that i did and i'm just trying to uh, make sure the colors match so i have a little bit more consistency on the design so i'm just going through and just kind of you know doing the foreground colors uh, you know, since it's kind of got like a fantasy steampunk thing to it, um, you know, there's a lot of, of course, browns and brasses and, and stuff like that. So, uh, for this particular scene, I was really trying to get like some dynamic, uh, action sequences. So, you know, the main character, Rena, in this scene in particular, they're fighting an Arog. Uh, it's just one of the creatures in the world. Uh, won't really say why they're doing it, but uh, I will say that uh, she, her friend is in trouble. Uh, he's getting his uh, life force drained from his body by this creature down there. So she is leaping from the top of this waterfall that she was uh, kind of keeping an eye out. And uh, uh, her friend, Miguel, begrudgingly being used as a bait to lure this creature out for something that they need. So what I really wanted to do was just kind of show that depth. So if you notice, there's not a lot of detail on this particular scene with the uh, Arog and uh, Miguel being wrapped up in his tongue. Uh, the reason for that is just because, uh, you know, when you're doing like a comic book or something like that, I want you to like watch one of your favorite cartoons or a comic book in general. And when it's uh, somebody who's in the background or far away, you know, they're not drawing every little detail. So, like, I just have the basic shape of his head in there. Um, and just some basic details from the art rock itself. Because when you look at the actual page itself, it's not going to be zoomed in on him. So the focus is not necessary. Um, so the main thing I was focusing on was just getting the shape. So you get the idea that she is jumping down to try and help. Uh, so, uh, next thing I'm doing is just picking, you know, just basic colors for like the water, uh, trying to see, you know, uh, keep that consistency too. So I was kind of picking from earlier scenes because they're kind of fighting outside of a, a waterfall, um, part in the forest, um, nearby one of the, the major cities. Um, but this is out in the woods, uh, where they're trying to find this thing. So I'm just going through and laying down all the base colors first, right? So, uh, the reason for that is just so I get a good idea, um, of how everything looks in, in color, you know? And then I, main thing I do to kind of make it so that I can add some of these special, uh, effects to it later is just trying to make sure I have separate layers so like for instance this uh, image of Rena right here it's on a foreground layer or the layer that's closest to us to the front so it's on top of everything else like Miguel and the force that's in the background right so this way when I color do shadows or change things it doesn't affect the background at all and vice versa anything that's in the background is not going to be affected by what I'm doing. So the layer system in Photoshop, or like when we do our Digital Wednesdays, uh, you know, sketchbook, um, that's that's the main thing with digital that's awesome, is that you can separate the layers out and really um, uh, keep track of everything so you don't mess up and have to start all over and erase and things like that. Um, so as you can see uh, on our back there, um, and uh, down in her hand now that she's landed into the water. And this is just kind of like a splash, you know, of her landing into the water. I've kind of left, like, hints uh, underneath the water of, like, her hands and her legs and where that stuff would be. Um, but, yeah, uh, the, she has a gun blade. I don't know if anybody's ever... I guess they're most uh, predominant in like final games like Final Fantasy, but um, they actually exist. <laughs> I challenge you to look up and do some research on uh, you know gun blades. I always thought they were cool, uh, cool ideas. Obviously, they're not feasible, but hey, in a fantasy world like this, 
Well, what does it matter? It's just a cool weapon for them to have. So as you can see, I separated the background colors too. Um, and that way, again, anything that I want to do or change that's back there behind her, um, it's not going to affect. So like, I can color directly behind her and it won't go over the paint that I've already put on. Um, and I'm doing a, if you look at the style, you know, if you notice like some of the things that I draw on the, the channel, um, there's a little less detailed, I, I wouldn't say like less detailed, but it's a lot of just real basic, non-fancy line work. Because uh, for this particular volume, uh, which it'll be like a, uh, right now it'll be like a three-story arc, but for this first arc, uh, I just wanted kind of like a, a basic uh, Saturday morning cartoon type. Uh, I mean, have you guys ever seen Avatar and the way that it's colored and shaded? That's what I'm kind of going for, just for something basic. Because uh, I really just want to get the story out there and then just have the artwork evolve. So like where the second arc is going to get much more darker, a little bit more gritty. And it'll probably look more like, uh, you know, things that you see in a traditional graphic novel. Like uh, uh, the style will have more detail. It'll have that uh, Marvel style or DC style comic book shading with the inking and stuff like that. But for now, I'm just doing more of a cell shaded like Saturday morning cartoon type thing. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm using the lasso tool. And I'm just kind of outlining the shadows. And as you can see, once I use an airbrush to paint that in, it just kind of puts the shadow over the top. So I'm trying to keep the lighting consistent from the other scenes. So it's, you know, the shadows are only going to fall on the right side. Um, but I am dropping the opacity down to a smaller percentage, so like 82%. Because I don't want it to be like completely black. I do want that hard line edge on there, as you can see. Um, but it's you know just being avoided for that so right now I just added a little sky in the background uh, and then it's kinda of blurred now so the reason I did that is so your focus is on her jumping and they're kinda of faded in the background that allows you to do a really cool perspective look um, I also just took the uh, it was kinda of quick but you'll see it again there uh, I just kinda of took a black uh, like a toothbrush splatter brush and just kinda of make it look like the the blood or the uh, you know what flows inside of this creature is kinda of spattering out as she cuts through the tongue um, and you know I kinda of forgot down here to add the shadows on them down here so I had to go back in and, and add so in order to get that kind of blurry effect what I did was just separated that background layer and added a Gaussian blur to kind of blur that out so again the focus on there so again with this I'm just trying to stay consistent with the shadows um, just going in and using that lasso tool to really just kind of draw it out and I kind of like doing it that way because it gives you more control on where it goes now it will give you a hard edge but let's say you wanted to soften it up you could easily go in there and just uh, take an airbrush with the the other color and just kind of knock that out uh, you could use the airbrush even on an eraser to blend that out but I actually like the hard edges on there so yeah uh, I just wanted to share uh, kind of my process of what I'm doing uh, and give you a little sneak peek look of uh, you know the graphic novel I'm working on. Um, uh, for those of you that are subscribed uh, or if you're new to the channel, you know please subscribe, like, share. Uh, if you are a returning viewer, thank you for watching and stopping by. I really hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Please leave me ideas in the comments for any art lesson that you want to learn or any character you want me to draw. It really will be helpful uh, to help me, you know, get you guys the, the, you know, art that you want, okay? So, again, thank you to everyone for subscribing. Thank you for stopping by, and I will see you in the next one, okay? Bye.